Okay everyone, this is Dom from Golden Touch Craps. And today I want to tell you the best way to bet on some random rollers. Because the thing you want to always remember is that the way you win the most money at craps is to lose less money. Most people that are dice controllers can learn how to control the dice and win money on their rolls. But they wind up losing so much money on random rollers. And the five count is a way that will help you uh, eliminate most shooters at a table and still give you time at the table and give you all your comps. The five count is going to eliminate 57% of all the shooters at the table, so your money is only going to be at risk 43% of the time. That's more than half of the shooters that are at the table before you get the dice you will not be betting on. It is a great tool to use, and if you only do this and nothing else at the craft table, I guarantee you, you will begin to win a lot more money and have more money on, in your rack for when you're going to be rolling. So the basis of the five count starts with a box number. And what we mean by a box number are the numbers four, five, six, eight, nine, and 10. We have to start with a box number and then we end with a box number. So as an example, when a new shooter gets the dice for the first time and he throws a come out seven, there is no count at that point. If he throws an ace deuce after that seven, there still is no count at that point. Then let's say he rolls a five, establishes five as his point number, the five count begins. But on roll number two, he throws a six, that might be the two count. On roll number three, he throws an ace deuce. That is counted now because it's in the middle of the sequence. That would be the three count. Then he throws a eight, that's the four count. His next roll is a 10, and then you begin to bet. We advise you to use come betting for every random rolling. And the reason behind that is because come betting with odds will reduce the edge tremendously versus place bets. And what we want to try to do always is bet the least amount and bets that have the lowest house edge when it comes to a random roller because in the long run you're going to lose anyways. So again, we're going to start with a box number, we're going to end with a box number. In that same example, 0.5, roll number one, ace deuce, roll number two, eight, roll number three, for a yo, that would be the four count in holding. Now he throws another yo, we're still holding for that last roll to take place throws an eight, we begin to bet. A good way of keeping track of your, of the rolls from around the board is to have some white chips in your rack. And this way, you don't, you can talk to your buddies at the table, you can do some other things at the table. And so every time a roll takes place, you might just take one chip and move it to the side as the one count. And another chip for the two count. This way you don't forget where you are in the sequence. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just throw the dice as a random roller. <clears throat> Mike, throw the dice and see what happens. Nine. I'm going to take a chip. That is the first count and put it over to the side. Pick the dice up as a random roller again. And it's a seven out. We have not bet anything on this particular shooter, and you all know how many times you've been at a table. The first thing you do on a brand new shooter is put a pass line bet down, take an odds, and then maybe even went out and placed the six to the eight when we established that point of nine. Seven out, you're all done. Almost everybody else at that table will loan money, except for you, if you utilize the five count. Let's try this again. First, eight. This point is an eight. We're going to take a chip, move it to the side. That's a one count. 
Throw it again. We throw a yo. That yo in the middle of the sequence is going to be the two count. We'll move the chip over. Ace deuce. That in the middle of the sequence is the three count. Ten, our ten. That is the four count. We'll see if the shooter makes it past the five count. Hard six, he makes past the five count, and as we said, we will recommend you betting and using come betting. Now, how much should you bet on a random roller? We advise at Golden Touch to bet at the maximum 25% of what your spread is on the table. Now, what we mean by spread is when you get the dice, how much are you willing to risk on that roll? Give you an example, and let's use you as a place better. You put a $10 down on the pass line, and you establish a point of five. You take your odds in the back, and let's say we're playing a three, four, five game. We're going to put $40 in the back of that $10 pass line. That gives us $50 at this point on the table. We then place the, th the six and the eight for $30. That gives us another 60, plus the 50 on the pass line. Our spread is $110. And the max, 25% of that $110, is approximately $27. So the most we want to bet on a random roller with a $110 spread is $27. So in this example, we have our $10 bet out there. And the most we're going to put on it is two times in odds if he rolls a point, which gives us $30. About that $27, that is the most we're going to want to bet. So we have our come bet out, we take the dice, he rolls, and he throws a nine, and our come bet will go over to the nine. We're going to take $20 from our rack, go with odds, and stay right there. One bet. We're not going to increase how many bets we have out there until we collect three times. If you want to be a little bit more aggressive, wait two times. But in this particular example, because of our spread being $110, we're not going to increase after collection, collecting three times to a second comeback. We're going to increase the amount of odds we can put on that nine. Because in this three, four, five game, the max we can put on is $40. So after three collections, we will increase the odds on that next bet to max odds. And the reason why we want to do that is again, if we can go to max odds on that come bet, we're going to reduce the edge on that come bet as low as we possibly can. So that basically what we're trying to do is play a break even game between the casino and yourself when it comes to a random roller. All this is on our website at goldentouchcrafts.com. Our phone number is 866-738-3423. This is Dom. Be on the lookout for some other videos.